I don't remember which week this is, but the title will tell you. So, um, Waffle is modeling the box. It's a, it's a beautiful box, as you can see. Um, very cat friendly. <laughs> Waffle said, I don't want to be on camera. Hold on. Okay. So, let's get into this. I literally just got it. We just got it. And it's my lunch hour. So, I decided it's very perfect timing. I may as well go ahead and do it while my salmon um, cooks my lunch is cooking. <laughs> close the lid. Oh, close the lid and then put this. That's why there's stuff on the top. I was like, dude. <laughs> All right. Chickpea rotini. Delightful. And more lentil quinoa mix. Delicious. Let me make sure I'm not supposed to micro-refrigerate um, it. I had some flatbreads that came in um, in one of the boxes that were supposed to be refrigerated, but I didn't pay attention. So my flatbreads got moldy. <gasps> Riced cauliflower ready to eat. Store in a cool, dry place. Refrigerate unused portions. I'm going to refrigerate that anyway. Excuse me, man. Ooh, and more fruit bite, strawberry fruit bites. Okay, sorry. And then again, more of these. <laughs> They're delightful. Tea. Lentil quinoa. I'm tempted to take a bite of this. There. It's a cat in a box. Huh. I hope I don't have to pay extra for you. <laughs> she bullies me. Rice cauliflower. I'm not sure what that means either, but you know, it's vegan, so that's all I do now. I believe, yeah, it's plant based, gluten free. I asked them to delete the gluten. Thank you, child, because gluten is not, it's not the best for me, as you guys know from the other videos. She's biting the box. to the grocery store for me again this week. What is it? Oh, they bought me some baby spinach right from the store. I literally could have bought my own. Apparently. Because they gave me um, they didn't even bother taking it out of my bag. Oh, my Cuban spiced black beans. The lid came off. But it's like it's sealed on the inside, so Oh, how did that lid even come off in the first place? So like, it's safe and sealed. Yeah. <laughs> that will go in the fridge, of course. A classic fruit salad. And it's mostly just cantaloupe. Yes, I should hope that it's perishable. It doesn't, it doesn't stay organic, but the only thing that needs to be organic in this is the red grapes and blueberries because um, the pineapple and cantaloupe parts of it are going to come from the inside so it doesn't really matter as much. Some jello cheese. Oh my goodness. My grapes are everywhere. Ooh, some tempeh smoky bacon. So this is organic. Non-GMO, it's not really bacon. It's plant-based, made from something called tempeh. It is a guilt-free food, and it looks interesting. Um, it looks like it's um, ground up nuts or seeds, so that's what I'm gonna guess tempeh is. I've got more some yogurt, some strawberry yogurt. Delicious, can't wait to have that. 
that will be a side for breakfast because you need to eat more than something small in the morning. Dinner should be your smallest meal, which some people are like, when I tell them that, but yeah. Um, it's a queen at breakfast, a king at lunch, and a pauper at dinner because you don't want to be digesting a lot because that'll mess up your, oh, you're not, there you go. Just slightly at an angle for a second there, sorry. Because if you eat a lot before you go to bed, your digestive system will be so busy trying to digest that your body is not going to heal properly and your food's not going to get digested right and you're not going to get a very high sleep quality. So it's nothing but losses at this point. Uh, Swiss cheese. Me throwing random things. Kale and quinoa bites. And they look amazing delicious. I've been considering if I could obtain like similar things on my own like for a cheaper price but I don't think we even have <laughs> like half of the stuff available around here um, and by the stuff I mean like tempeh, the quinoa bites. Um, yeah. Sad. Cashew cheddar. But yeah, I've been thinking about using uh, meal lime again, and it makes it really easy. It's an app on your phone that's, it's got a paid version, but the free version is what I was using, and it was really good. Um, you pick out like your meal plan for that week, and it gives you the recipes, it tells you what you need, and if you have a Walmart, the Walmart app or like the Kroger app, it'll shop it for you. So you just tell it, just click on it and it opens your Walmart app and it's already got the that item typed into your search bar for you so I think it was really cool because it was just integrated so it made it a lot less stressful for me and I just had it delivered and I did the little meal thing and I was like <laughs> oh yeah lemon garlic hummus it just made it a lot easier for me and it brought me joy <gasps> Ooh, sweet banana bread by base culture. So this does have to be refrigerated, I am pretty sure. Yep, keep refrigerated because there's no preservatives in it, which means yeah, if your baked goods can sit like in your cabinet for a week and be perfectly fine, there's something wrong. Uh, cucumber corn black bean salad. I'm excited for whatever this is going to go into. Clips. <gasps> it gives me clips. Mm. Just modeling my grapes. So this container is made of 100% compostable material. Even the band is right. Okay, the band is recycled. I was going to tell me it was compostable and I was about to be really impressed. Okay, plant-based, dairy-free, almond and coconut-based sour cream. I'm excited. Some broccoli. Sweet baby broccoli. Ooh. <gasps> Sprouted whole grain. Seven grain bread reduced sodium, 47% less sodium than our seven grain bread. Did I not just read seven grain of bread? I'm on to you. I'm jelly big cats. Do I need to refrigerate? <laughs> because last time I got a bread thingy and didn't refrigerate it. I'm just gonna refrigerate it because I refrigerate my bread so that it doesn't fall because I'm not a big animal. Scrimp? I got some scrimp um, from Egg Harbor Seafood. I'm excited. I like scrimp. Oh, how cute! A Hail Mary key lime pie from almond flour, cashews, and coconut oil.
says today and tomorrow is lunch because it's two servings. There you go. Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, I've discovered that kefir, kefir is delicious. I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's, it's basically a yogurt, a drinkable yogurt, which is a lot less gross than it sounds, I promise. It reminds me of something I've heard of before called like black stuff. Okay, first, avocado crema. Then, ooh, a tiny dark chocolate almond buttercup. That looks delicious. I'm gonna refrigerate that because it looks meltable. My weekly cookie dough. <laughs> Haven't even finished last week. Like I literally just opened last week's like an hour ago because I didn't want to be hungry for an hour before we went to lunch. So. Okay, now we have white corn tortillas. Do I have to keep those in the refrigerator? I don't think I do. I've got too many tortillas. I'm talking Like seriously, I have like three different kinds of tortillas up there. And then seven sprouted whole grain wraps and sweet potato. These are delicious. I really like these. We have wheat, quinoa, millet, oats, barley, rye, and bread. Refrigerate after opening. I'm just gonna refrigerate it forever. Chicken. Seasoned grilled chicken breast. They already grilled it for me and everything. Not that lazy. But I appreciate it. I'd rather cook it myself, like when it comes to chicken and stuff. But, you know, I'll take what I can get, I guess. <laughs> So if you've been considering it, it's not bad. Uh, mine's 165, I think. Some of you guys are gonna be like, and I understand, I promise, I get it. But um, I'm willing to pay it because I feel like ever since I've started eating it, I felt so much better. Um, like I've had more energy and it's just been, just been better. So I think, um, yeah, when I try, if I try the lime, like if I try to go to meal lime instead of hungry root, I'll probably still, probably, I'll definitely still be using um, organic ingredients and try to cut out as much gluten and dairy as I possibly can and use substitutions. Um, because again, um, it seems that I have a sensitivity to stuff like that. So um, I don't know how well that's going to go. So I might experiment with that like a week or two and then probably go back <laughs> but see you guys next week or whenever or um my next stream goodbye